this is a little reintroduction of sorts. That sneaky little bastard Brian Rose managed to block my video. Or at least the London Real TV Limited Company managed to block my, my video, this video, within about a minute of it being published. Um, just look at the times here. You must have done it within literally a minute. It's fucking incredible. I don't know how these algorithms work. Do you know what I mean? If you get some sort of notification, say, bing, someone's got your face in a video, I have no idea, but this is fucking incredible speed. Which brings me on to thinking about the, uh, the most viewed conversation in human history. Ike versus Rose Free. Or Ike and Rose Free. <laughs> And um, how it's being broadcast on this new platform, Freedom Tube or whatever the fuck stupid name he's named it. And he's probably going to be selling freedom of speech masterclasses on there for fucking three hundred dollars a month. Live preview that was recorded last year. But um, yeah, this slimy fucks already deleted this. So this is the real information wars here. It wouldn't surprise me if this new platform whatever platform is called, um, was linked to, to these information agencies or was being used by these various organisations that have been surfacing in this whole information warfare that we're seeing emerge more and more prominently in the public domain. Now, I say that for the reason that the speed of the delete, it just seems to me on an intuition basis that they don't want the the brand or the name or this discussion and the integrity of it to be tarnished in any way. That's just the feeling I get. It feels like they don't want the, the brand name and the, these individuals to be tarnished. The, the way that this has been attacked is very random. But I say that also because if you think about it, a lot of people that are going to naturally be seeking answers to their alternative thoughts on or, or at least validation and stuff on their alternative thoughts as to what's going on versus the mainstream narrative a lot of these people are going to be signing up and tuning into this stuff and so it's a very easy data collating method when people aren't thinking i mean i've read some of the terms and conditions on the website and it's interesting if you guys go and look into uh long stem limited and their financial history brian rose is a snaky dude it seems very odd to me i mean i'm not an accountant or anything but the nature of the business and the way that it seems to be conducted seems to be very, very fucking shady for someone that has a whole lot of money from his previous career. It's just, it's all very, very weird. So, um, yeah, fuck Brian Rose, fuck the London Real Army, and uh, let's get into this deleted, censored video. I'm not a victim, but pff, it's been a crazy week, man. Yes, yes, peoples. So... I am glad hindsight is a wonderful thing and so my video on the David Icke, Brian Rose scenario being taken down looking back on it quite a good thing because at the time I was just a little bit annoyed with uh, my videos being taken down and the whole fraudulent scenario that Brian Rose is uh, creating but my issue with David Icke and my issue with Brian Rose are totally separate. My issue with Brian Rose is more of a personality, ethical, um, integrity based issue where the guy is a snaky fucking liar. And my issue with David Icke is more of an ideological, philosophical one where it's more down to, at the time when I was angry, I thought, you know, he's a deceptive motherfucker. But looking back on it, I actually think more than likely, he's probably just quite naive. Now, it seems possibly a little bit obnoxious of me, just a dude with a little YouTube channel to be saying that someone that goes on massive world talks, exposing conspiracy theories and what someone considers to be the truth, uh, naive you know, when he's like a 60 or old man or whatever, and I'm not, it might seem a bit obnoxious, but there are reasons for me saying this. And so I will break down the David Icke <clears throat> issue. 
And then just have a little relook at some issues with Brian Rose. So the David Icke thing is an issue for me fundamentally because when it comes down to going down the rabbit hole and formulating some kind of truth in this reality, you're faced with a decision. You get hit at a crossroads, a fork, where essentially you have to make a choice of creation or explosion, accident or intended. Do we have purpose or is it just all by chance? And so for most of us in these realms, we make that decision based on logic and certain facts that we can ascertain. We make that decision. Now, this isn't something that David Icke often talks about, you know, he speaks of the Godhead, as we can see. Well, the Godhead, which is, I mean, we, we talk about God. The, the Godhead is not um, a guy with a beard sitting on a cloud. It is a massive spirit, the basis of all creation. And coming out from this Godhead, round all creation, through all the stars, through all the planets and uh, everything else, is the life force known as the light. The light. I mean, the Bible refers to the light. Yeah. So he mentions God and the Godhead, but then the light being the, the power source for that entity. So what he actually thinks of the entity that might be the creator or whatever is quite hard to ascertain. But when delving into these realms of being, having experiences and, and delving into things which are outside of our natural, outside of our natural realm of perception, outside of our natural confined, restricted reality. Once you start going into those realms, you, you have to be very careful. Then came the third stage, which started in 2003, when I had an ayahuasca experience in um, Brazil, and a voice talked to me for five hours about the nature of reality. Real clear, very funny, and uh, mind-blowing and uh, life-changing. So dabbling in clairvoyancy and mixing with entities, having experiences and listening to entities is a very, very dangerous game. And I feel like he's quite naive in the way that he's conducted it. When dealing with these entities, how is it possible to know whether the entities that you're speaking to are legitimate or whether they're the same entities that were influencing Blavatsky and Alice Bailey and Annie Besant? Henry Alcott and all these other people. How is it possible to ascertain what entities you're speaking to and what the purposes or intentions of those entities are? So for me, without knowing it, due to his naivety, he ends up spouting the same amount of stuff. Now it might be seem okay because he references Luciferians and Satanism, but it's when you look at the details of the information given by these entities, you start seeing many similarities and identical identical bits of information which form a very similar doctrine a new age doctrine and so if you're mentioning satanism or luciferian or whatever that's fine but when you're dealing with entities that are giving you the exact same information and the exact same doctrine as those who profess to be Luciferians and Satanists, then I feel like they they the doctrine is is essentially no different. It is the way in which this packaged that 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 appears to mislead. You know, you have a look at Alistair Crowley's writings, and he's quite brutal, quite harsh with it. You look at Annie Besson or. Um, you look at Blavatsky and it's slightly more slightly more elegantly articulated. And the same with Annie Besant or um, Alice Bailey. And so, you know, going into more of a new agey where he speaks of these lizard people attaching themselves to people and AI and technology, it's the same doctrine but for the 21st century, for the technology kids. It's the exact same 
Luciferian satanic doctrine. I'm not saying that he himself knows this necessarily, but the point is there. The, the doctrine is an identical one, just packaged in a slightly different manner to suit the times. But the same question still remains. How is it that you can differentiate between the entities? How do you know that the entities that you're interacting with and that fed you this information aren't the exact same entities? How do you know their intentions? Unless you've gone about this in some kind of incredible way that I can't even think of, there is no way. So what does he say about it? Well, I've been on a, a, a long journey of nearly 20 years now, consciously doing this, and some force has been um, pushing me in different directions through intuition, through urges. I've just got to do this. I've just got to go there. As I've gone through this and followed it, um, and who the force is and they are, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really that interested, funnily enough. And who the force is and they are, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really that interested from it, no. Because I just go with it and I'll remember what it's all about when I leave this genetic space suit. So the uh, original premise of the video actually came about by way of Tyrant Finder. Big up Tyrant Finder again all the time, of course. Um, he sent me a little screenshot relating to David Icke's hand and his, his, uh, his funny old hand during the entire Brian Rose London Real interview. Now, I'm aware he has arthritis, but as far as I can find, if anyone else can find any different, please let me know. But as far as I can find, he only has arthritis in the knees, predominantly, from what I can get, from what I can gather. Um, so these hand signs here got me onto making this video and this 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 whole conversation. But whether he is a Mason or a high level occultist is a different question. Not necessarily something I can. I can't confirm. It's all speculation and it's too much speculation for me to really bother delving into. But there are certainly some anomalies in his behaviour and the things that he decides to preach that make me think he is definitely more towards the occultist side than the side of merely exposing truth to those who wish to to seek it access and tap into that power and so they used to build their cities because they're, they're you know, I'm saying every every Inca person knew all this no but the initiates did uh, and so they located places on the basis of because it's interesting that when the colonialists went in like the British above all and the Spanish and all the others when they went into these places again they had initiates that were, were had the had the knowledge that I'm talking about, and they were working with it as they still are today. The Satanists and the Illuminati and the secret societies, in a very negative way, and uh, so they knew about the power centres, and they knew about the way they could be used to give power to those who understood what. It's fascinating to to see that they understood all that, and they understood it then more than mainstream science does now, which thinks, oh, it's old mumbo-jumbo. Well, it's not. It's high physics. So the issue with Brian Rose, totally separate to the David Icke issue, you know, it's not a philosophical, ideological point of view and I don't think that this guy is particularly naive at all maybe maybe naive in the fact that he could create this market employ and it just go completely smoothly without anyone noticing whereas obviously some of us out there are a little bit more vigilant than others um so yeah I just think this guy is a scumbag really to be honest it's a money money scheme it's a marketing scheme market employee to get traffic to his website and get people on his courses, how to be the best you, the better you, the ultimate you, the financially free you, the financially secure you, the, all, you know, ill fucking, it's unreal, the sort of shit that he's selling. And uh, if any of you have signed up to his website, then you will know exactly what I'm talking about because he will spam the shit out of your email, you know, these live webinars that aren't live, these 
courses that are free for you, but only require you to sign up so you can give your email details to third party organizations and sell your your data or harass you with other money making opportunities for him and um this whole london real army i mean london real army cringy as fuck like it reminds me of some real like 2010 type marketing shit and it's perfect to be honest london real army uh... I, mean, I seen this meme the other day of who is it alex jones brian real david ike and eamon holmes doing like it's not what's that film with fucking Sylvester Stallone and Jason Statham and that it's not Avengers it's like uh the un not the untouchable what the, I can't remember what it's called but I've seen a meme with them and I'm thinking if these if if people that are supposedly thinking that they're awake to what's going on they're aware of what's going on if these are the representatives that you're you're thinking are giving you truth in this time then we are all fucked so I'm glad that there's people around that can see through that and do their own research and don't rely on such figureheads, such public figures to divulge information for them. Because if that's re if these four men are really what you think is going to be giving us truth in these times, then we are all fucking lost. We may as well quit now. It's pathetic. I'm sorry. I can't put it in any less harsh terms it's 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 disgraceful if you think that you're some kind of researcher or truth seeker and this is your fucking savior you're done out here done madness we only have to look at the posts and the videos that this guy's making and he just shows himself up and this still does not change how i feel and that is that we have the the right to speak our minds that freedom of speech is important and the freedom of press is important i think there's a human rights issue going on here um that we need to investigate further and so the truth is now i need you more than ever i need your help i need your help and i posted something yesterday um asking for what somebody called the london real wankers yeah for what he is, a fucking snaky salesman, a uh, self-interested businessman, you know, he's not a truth seeker to any degree whatsoever, I mean, look at the poster that he's developed for Ike, Brian Rose interview number three, it's like the fucking Wilder Fury free poster, it looks like a boxing poster, this guy thinks he's fucking Frank Warren, it's incredible. I, I just, oh, it's, it's mind blowing to me. But yeah, fuck the hashtag London Real Army. Some donuts. The whole thing. It's just fucking pure nuggetry. Pure nuggetry. That's what I'll call it. Pure nuggetry. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it, really, in terms of um ideology and the issues there. All cleared up, settled. Boom. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of David Icke and Brian Rose. Drop me a like. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification because I'm active. And that's that. Justice. Till next time. Peace. So that is amazing.